Hi everyone, it's Miss Clark back with the bad guys. Book three, The Furball Strikes Back. We are in chapter eight. Remember there was supposed to be an explosion. This building was supposed to self-destruct, but we're not sure if it happened. Let's just see. Chapter eight, a little favor. What happened? Did we blow up? Is this heaven? It can't be, you're here. Uh-oh, and then we hear Mr. Or Dr. Marmalade. <laughs> Hi everybody, Marmalade. Okay, it looks like they made it out of a tunnel and then there's Dr. Marmalade at the top and there's some kind of something up there, a machine or something. I don't know what that is. Tricked you, the building wasn't really going to blow up. Are you kidding? I nearly pooped my pants. Again, you really need to see a doctor, man. You didn't really think I'd blow up my secret weapon, did you? I'm getting sick of this. What secret weapon? I'll bet it's just another trick. Hmm. Well, you just wait a few minutes, Mr. Wolf, and see what comes out of this tunnel. Okay, so Dr. Marmalade is saying the secret weapon is going to come out of this tunnel. Go ahead and make your prediction. What do you think that secret weapon is going to be? Hmm. You believe me, don't you, Agent Fox? Unfortunately, yes, I do. What have you done this time, Marmalade? You'll see. Well, good luck, everyone. You're going to need it. Today is the end of cute and cuddly forever. Well, it looks like this machine is some kind of airplane that, or ship that he's going to fly. Farewell. <laughs> I really don't like that guinea pig. Nor do I, Mr. Wolf. And that's why I need to ask you a favor. <gasps> Anything. I need to follow Marmalade right now. But someone needs to stay here and deal with the secret weapon. Any minute now, something truly terrifying will come out of that tunnel, and I need some heroes to be standing guard when it does. Will you be my heroes, gentlemen? Will you help me save the world? Um, I'm really not sure. I actually have a hair appointment to get to. I'd love to, senorita, but I'm afraid I need to find a clean pair of pants. Sister, you're out of your mind. <laughs> so Mr. Shark, Mr. Legs, Mr. Piranha, and Mr. Snake are saying, no way, we are not doing this. And then, of course, we will, Mr. Wolf says. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. I'm counting on you, boys. We all are. Oh, great. Now she's counting on us. Well, I've got to catch a villain. Sorry, I've got a villain to catch. Oh, my gosh. She's even got rocket boots. Wow, she, first she was a ninja. Now she's got rocket boots. Yes, there are quite a few perks to being a hero, Mr. Wolf. Oh, my gosh. She's hearts, 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 hearts. Oh, and Mr. Snake? Yeah. I don't know what you did at the chicken farm. You are the reason those chickens are free. You're already a hero. You just have to start believing. Good luck, boys. And then she shoots off on her rocket boots. Oh, Mr. Snake has a little tear there. So she's telling him he is a hero. You just have to believe it. Oh my gosh, chapter nine, the last chapter of book number three, cute and cuddly no more. Did you hear that? Yeah, there's something moving around in there. Are you guys ready for this? No. <laughs> so all of them say no. Fair enough. I'm not sure I am either, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because we have a job to do. It's up to us to protect the world. It's up to us, the good guys club. What do you think is going to come out of that tunnel? They hear something. Seriously, man, now that we've heard about the International League of Heroes, our name sounds so lame. It makes me wish I had hands so I could slap you. Really? You don't like our name? Oh my gosh, all four of them say it sucks. Okay, well, we are helping the awesome League of Heroes right now. So that kind of makes us awesome too, doesn't it? Kind of. Well then, kind of awesome League of Good Guys guys, let's show the secret weapon what we're made of. Well, that's a terrible name kind of awesome league of good guys, guys. They need to come up with a better name. Hey, <laughs> everybody relax. Look, it's just another trick. It's just a bunch of kittens. Meow, 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 meow. <gasps> Phew, well, that's a relief. Okay, remember, Dr. Marmalade tricked them the last time, and now they're saying, oh, it's just another trick. There's just some cute kittens. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. There's something weird about those kittens. Why are they limping and moaning and drooling? Uh-oh. 
no, it can't be. Is it, it's, it's an army of zombie kittens. Oh no, to be continued. Oh my gosh, look at those kittens. Zombie kittens. So you know that probably means it's gonna continue into book number four. It's a zombie kitten apocalypse. Should you panic? Should you cry? Should you poop your pants? No, you should sit back and watch the fur fly as the world's baddest good guys take on mad marmalade's meowing monsters. You'll laugh till you cry or laugh till you fart. It doesn't matter, which it's totally your choice. Just don't miss the bad guys in Attack of the Zittens. So that is book number four, which I know some of you in class have already read. End of book number three. Oh, 